Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about what is data type, types of Python data types, and in depth about Python numbers using arithmetic operator. What is data type? It is an attribute that tells what kind of a data that a value or a variable can have it. For example, roll number equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is a integer data type that is number and name equal to anand which is a string data type and uh, max is equal to 80.5 which is a float data type that is a number with a decimal point in python we have five types of standard data types such as numbers string list tuple and dictionary we are going to discuss about each data type in depth in this video, we are going to learn about a numbers data type. The number data type is divided into the three different numerical types that is integer, float and a complex number. i equal to 50. This is an example of an integer data type, the number without the decimal point. f equal to 3.14, the number with the decimal point which we say it as float x is equal to 2 plus 3j here this number consists of both the real and the imaginary value 2 is a real and 3 is the imaginary value which we call as complex number let me print these three values run it so the value is printed this is how the numbers are divided into three types in order to identify the variable types we have a method called type with the help of this method we can identify the variable types example the syntax is print comment followed by type and the variable i similarly type f type x just run it now you can find these three variables i belongs to int f belongs to float and x belongs to complex data type this is about the type of python numbers the next important basic topic is operators operators are special symbols in python that carry out arithmetic or logical computation for example 10 plus 5 equal to 15 here plus is an operator and that performs the addition and the number of 10 and 5 which we say it as operands and 15 is the output of the operation and we have seven types of operators such as arithmetic operator comparison operator assignment logical bitwise membership and identity operators we will have a look on all these operators one by one totally we have seven arithmetic operation like addition subtraction multiplication float division integer division modulus or remainder and exponent we'll see each operator with an example one by one the sample code is completed we are going to assign a value x equal to 20 and y equal to 5 and then i am printing the value addition of x plus y and inside the condition if i mention x plus y directly it will do the addition operation similarly for subtraction x minus y and multiplication x star y just run it we will get the output for these three operators addition of x plus y is 20 then 20 minus 5 is 15 then 20 into 5 equal to 100 this is how we use these three operators and one small note while multiplying the integer and a float value the results will be a float value so what i did j equal to 3 into 1.5 then I am printing the result and also try to find its type run it so the value is 4.5 and it a float data type the next one is float division from the name itself you can guess its usage when you divide using a single forward slash the output will be with the decimal point which we say it as float division and uh, we have integer division also for that you have to use double forward slash you will get an output without the decimal point that's why we call it as integer division and in the same integer division if you use the negative value that is minus 10 by 3 then the output is minus 4 because 
the result is float that is rounded away from zero that is towards the negative infinity that's the reason we are getting minus 4 you know very well uh, when you draw a line 0 then comes in the right side it will be a positive value in the left side it will be a negative value in that mechanism this particular integer division is manipulated then comes the modular operator which we also say it as a reminder if you want to find the remainder of two number then you have to use the percentage symbol you know very well when you divide 5 by 2 you will have a reminder 1 the top value we say it as a quotient dividend divisor then the reminder we will run it and you will get a value 1 which we also say it as modulus or percentage operator then comes the exponential operator for example when you write 2 power 2 it is nothing but 4 just run it you will get a value 16 because 4 raised to the power 2 nothing but 4 into 4 16 8 to the power 2 then 8 into 8 64 that is how the exponential operator works all these examples mentioned in the single tabular just refer it and uh, the meaning also given here then comes the rule of precedence in python the main usage of this rule is for example Till now we have seen the single operator but in case if we are going to use multiple operators in a statement or in a manipulation how this calculation will be carried out by the system and this is a very useful feature and you must know it because while creating the equations this will be very helpful and uh, even though it is easy most of them will be doing mistake in this area the sequence is mentioned in this tabular format it starts with the parenthesis then exponent value followed by unary operator after that only it start multiplication division then addition subtraction and so on this is an order in which the manipulation will happen let's see with an example here this is a statement as per the table the first it will do the multiplication and then only subtraction if it does a multiplication 5 into 2 it's 10 then 12 minus 10 equal to 2 just run it that's the output we got it the same example but with a little bit modification i have included the parenthesis then how this will work as per the table first start with the parenthesis then only addition or subtraction will come the value will be 12 minus 5 equal to 7 7 into 2 14 this is how the multiple operators manipulation will happen with the help of these rules Hope you understood the importance of rules of precedence. Let's do a short recap. You can find these material in this particular URL under the Python. We have seen the topic Python numbers and arithmetic operator. What is a data type? An attribute that tells what kind of data that a value or variable is having. Then we have five types of data types. In this video we have seen Python numbers which is divided into three types integer, float and complex with an example then to identify the variable types we use type method after that what is an operator an operator is nothing but a special symbol to do the arithmetic or logical computation then comes the types of operators and arithmetic operator is divided into seven types addition subtraction and multiplication then float division means if we want the output with a decimal point then we use the float division a single forward slash integer division means when we use double forward slash we will get the output without the decimal points then comes modulus or remainder operator to find the remainder of two values followed by the exponential operator after this to do multiple operators manipulation we use a rule of precedence you no need to by heart these things when you come across creating the equation just follow this table for it starts with the parenthesis then ends with the logical or condition and we have seen a two example for this hope you got an idea about python numbers and arithmetic operators in the next video we will see the rest of the operators type that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning